Hi, I want to take another uh, couple of minutes and appreciate uh, Oral Sachs, I think it was, had sent me the email that wanted to inform me that if I supported certain things, I was a quack. And as I said in my earlier videos, I know. I know I'm a quack. I've known it for years. Uh, graduated from chiropractic college, came with quite a stigma, but I'm real proud of that degree, and I'm proud that my son is in chiropractic college as well. Uh, and it then you go out, if you're a chiropractor, then you go out and you get into kinesiology, and wow, you know, then really you might as well put on the... Well, I did. Uh, I had a young boy come in with his mom. He was six years old. His mom brought him in. She said, I'm a nurse. I don't believe in what you do. My husband seems to think that this will be effective. Her husband was a patient of mine. Uh, she said, the problem is he has ear infections. He's had two put in his ears. One has fallen out, but he was on antibiotics, and he got an infection in his good ear, and I'm at my wit's end. But believe me, I don't believe in this. And I said, you don't have to believe in it. I don't believe in it either, right? But it usually works, which it did, by the way, about five or six visits, and a little boy didn't need antibiotics or tubes. But uh, at, during one of the visits, he brought in a headdress and rattles for me. Uh, he considered me his witch doctor, and his mom was right there with him, and so was I. And he was kind of, you know, shy about giving it to me, but we both laughed like crazy. And I put that headrest and rattles, just a little kid's toy thing, uh, in my desk, because I knew I might need it. Now, a few months later, the president of the bank where I did most of my business came in. We'd got talking, and he had tennis elbow, and I said, let me give a shot at it. On his second visit, he came back, and on the first visit, he di I diagnosed that he needed some acupuncture, and I went to do the acupuncture, and he wouldn't. He was, no, 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 needles, no, 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 please don't. So I put these little AccuTab things on. They're little tabs underneath a piece of tape, and I put them on the points that were necessary, and then he said that he had gone to play tennis with his cousin, and his cousin was an orthopedic surgeon, and his cousin said, well, what are those? And he told him, and he said, oh, did he have a headdress and rattles? <laughs> So I said, excuse me, and I walked out of the room, and, and rather abruptly, I guess, I just, I, I knew what I was doing, I knew where I was going, I said, I'll be right back. I went to my desk drawer, of course, and I got my headrest and rattles, and uh, came back into the room with them on, and I, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, around the table uh, for the bank president, and we both enjoyed the laugh. Uh, in fact, he told the story at a Rotary Club later on, saying that he thought he had offended me at some point during this, but, but uh, I am a quack. I am okay with that. I have the headrest and rattles. Uh, you know, I haven't seen them in years. I guess I'm going to have to get another pair. But I, I do what I do, and the patients, a lot of patients get better. I don't necessarily believe in what I do, but I look at the empirical. I look at the results, and when people get better, I continue to do it, and it's been happening for years. So I guess, I guess only a few words to say after that. Quack, quack. <laughs> www.micpeakperformance.com Have a fun day.